when a person does something wrong, when he acts in a demeaning way, he disgraces himself beneath his dignity. He does something beneath his dignity. So one of his th for first thoughts is, I hope that no person saw me or that no person sees me. But he's making a, a mistake because the most important person of all is seeing him right now. And that person is he himself. He sees himself. And how does that harm him? How is he hurting himself? He's hurting himself that by seeing himself degraded. So therefore, his highest aspirations, his highest visions have now been pulled down. His dream of reaching personal greatness, personal heights, has now been pulled down. This idea is reflected in the Pasha. In this story which deals with the blasphemer, the Torah tells us that one who curses his God would have to carry his sin. He would have to carry the, and bear the consequences of his mistake. But why does the Torah say one who, one who curses his God? Why doesn't it just say one who curses Hashem, one who curses God? What's the his God business? And the answer is that each person has a vision of what Hashem represents, of what Hashem is, of the perfection of Hashem, of the glory of Hashem, of the power and wealth and greatness and joy of Hashem. Each person has such a vision. And it's towards that vision that he strives. The clearer that vision, the higher that vision, the better it is, the easier it is for him to strive for personal greatness, for personal achievement. And by sinning before Hashem, sinning in the presence of Hashem, he has cheapened Hashem in his own eyes. He's made Hashem less for himself. Hashem now is less in his own eyes. This is the concept of Chilol Hashem. He has lowered Hashem, he's profaned Hashem in his own eyes. And therefore, that takes away from the vision that we strive for. We, we strive to emulate Hashem. We have been created in the image of Hashem. And we can be like Hashem. That's, that's what the Torah has given us, an opportunity. That's what life has given us, an opportunity to realize personal greatness. And now that greatness, this person, by sinning, by acting in a foolish way, has pulled down and robbed from himself. He's lost from himself the opportunity to strive for his ultimate greatness. May we use this message to inspire ourselves further to our own personal achievement, success and happiness.